Oh. Camera's already rolling. Prince back. Today, we're gonna talk about how to make females respect you. Very simple, right? Respect, you can write down this formula. Respect equals attraction, all right? A female can totally hate you, she can hate your guts, she can hate everything you stand for, but she's still gonna fuck you because she respects you. Doesn't make sense, right? Guys, literally, you could be like a, a female's worst nightmare when it comes to everything, right? It, when it comes to, let's say you don't wanna have kids, let's say uh, you wanna have multiple women, but she only wants to be, be with a guy who only wants, wants like one guy, uh, one girl, right? You, you can be a female's worst nightmare, but she'll still fuck the shit out of you just because she respects you, all right? I'm telling you guys, you need to be able to raise females' respect. That's the, that's the name of the game. Look, everything I'm teaching, every, everything I'm showing you guys, okay? It's all about raising a female's respect for you. Even imitating it, right? The best way is to actually do it, right? But all the tactics, like all these like PUA, PUA tactics and all these like high value tactics, at the end of the day, it's like, make the female respect you more. Think about it. When I tell you talk in a deep and relaxed voice and make it be sed seductive, instead of like talking like this, huh? Like, it's like the female's gonna respect you more if you sound authoritative and if you have a loud and commanding voice, right? If you have good posture, if you're walking slowly and with swagger, right? If you have a lot of friends, social circle, uh, chilling in, in rich uh, neighborhoods and, and, and rich places, female's gonna respect you more. Very simple. And that is why, guys, you always need to push respect and need to learn how to, how to make a female respect you. Now, today we're gonna talk about two ways on how to make a girl respect you, okay? We're gonna have, we're gonna cover it in two sections. Number one is what you, when you leave, and number one is when you dare, right? Let's start with when you dare, right? As I said, you have to show the females things that are respectable about you. Literally, the way you dress, your style. When she looks at you, do you look like a like a person who's fashionable, who has style, who takes care of his body, who's been in the gym pushing weight? Look, the girl's literally, she, when she's looking at you, she's not really like looking at you like, oh, you're so hot because like your body. The female, 90% 90, 90 of the time she's looking at you, wow, the work ethic, right? The ambition. The guy's pushing, he's hard, he's tough. That is what gets her little box flowing. I'm telling you, 90% of it is psychological. You could be, I've seen it, you could be like a fat guy, right? You become strong and muscular, right? But still you have to like mindset of a fat guy. But now you think like, because I'm hot and I have a good body, the female's gonna be all over you. But no, they're not, they're just simply not. It's because it's the mindset behind it, the way you carry yourself, the, the, the confidence, right? Look, I could have this body right now, right? And we can check it out. Look at this biceps, obviously. Look, I've, uh, I've worked for my body, right? And I could like walk into a room and be like this. Or I could walk into a room like this. Right? It's gonna be a total and complete difference, right? All of a sudden, Mm, don't notice. Hey, excuse me. Uh, where do I find, where do I find the Listerine, the mouthwash? All of a sudden, I'm like on the room. Oh my God, he's so hot. It's the way you carry yourself. So you need to be respectable in the way you look, sense, uh, sense of style, uh, fashionable, right? Body, always have a smooth and good haircut, right? Looking like a freaking CEO. Right? All these things are gonna make you look way more respectable, right? And now is you have to have other things, right? The way you talk, the way you behave, are you confident? Confident guys are always more respectable because confidence basically sends a message of security, reassurance, right? You wanna be the guy if the whole Titanic is fucking sinking, right? You're gonna grab your wife and be like, it's all gonna be good. <clears throat> Just trust me. Right, even if everything's going to shit, you need to be this confident guy who everybody just looks up to and for, for security, okay? 
Another thing that's respectable, right? Obviously, the amount of money you make. If a girl asks you, what do you do? And you tell her, I have, own, I have my own company, right? You don't tell her, like, yeah, I'm making like millions or I'm making like 100K, six figures. You tell her, I have, a, I have my own company, a couple of employees, so we're going strong. We have a couple of projects going on. Instantly, you're way more respectable, man. You're just way more respectable. And at the end of the day, that is what high value is all about doing stuff that is respectable in the world where God, where people look at you, wow, that's respectable. When they ask me, Prince, oh, you do you do 100 meters? Yeah, I do. Um, I'm trying to qualify for the Olympics. Wow, that's cool, damn, that's respectable. It's always the same thing, okay? So you need to do things that are respectable. It starts with what you find respectable, okay? Improve your life, start pushing for more. Stop fucking sitting in front of the fucking video games and video gaming your life away. You can't do that. You think a girl is like attracted to like fucking, when she's like fantasizing, oh, oh, I want this guy who just plays video games all the time. Oh, oh my God. Of course not. I mean, I mean, come on, okay? The second aspect of having a girl respect you is your ability to leave. Now that's the total and complete opposite of what I just told you. It's when you're staying and you're talking to the girl, you're telling her things, she can see stuff about you, that is gonna make you respectable. The other thing is having the ability to leave. And I always tell guys, that's actually the true measure of if you're a real G. Do you dismiss hot pussy, right? This week, right, I was a little bit sick as well, but this week was a very successful week. I had, had sex with a lot of girls, and it's one of the, one of my girls, my main chick. I fucked like, we fucked five times. She came in the evening, we fucked like five times, had morning sex, she went. I was completely and utterly drained, right? I went to the club, friends from of Germany came, right? We were walking in the club, and I just felt zero attraction. Like, my sexual appetite was gone. It was completely and utterly gone. I had total and complete leverage over any girl that I would have talked to. Right? And the girls could see that. This one girl, she went up to me, grabbed my hand, started dancing on me, started twerking on me, right? And at, at the end, I just left. I didn't even ask for a number, didn't ask for Instagram. I just, just didn't care. Like, it, it, imagine I just removed all your sexual appetite, just it was completely gone, right? It, it, imagine you were asexual. That's how I felt, right? I had complete and total leverage. The girls could not leverage sex against me, okay? Because it, it, it didn't matter. Right? That's the position you want to be. You want to have so a bunch load of pussy in your bed where it's basically going to be like, oh, I'm tired of fucking. I'm tired. Right? And girls will sense that. And this puts you in a position where you can just leave. Like, she, she doesn't have anything that you need, right? You don't need pussy anymore. It's like pussy's a bonus because we have so much of it, right? If it, if it rained diamonds today in your fucking uh, house, it just rained a bunch of diamonds, right? You would pick up so many of them, you just start picking up. At some point, you'd be like, what? I don't pick, I don't need to pick up like every, imagine rain down in every corner, right? At some point, you'd be like, it just rained like trillions of dollars into my fucking backyard. I don't need to pick up every single diamond in the corner. Like, let's say there's one diamond in the dirt. Like, would you have like the same need to like pick if it was like everywhere? Let's say it just rained this one diamond in that corner. You'd be like, oh shit, I'm, I'm gonna fucking get this diamond for a million dollars. Let me the fucking grab it. Doesn't matter if it's the dirt. Let me fucking dig in the dirt. What the fuck? Like, that's what I mean, guys. Even with the most valuable thing, it gets devalued if you have a lot of it, right? And that's why you need to be able to tell girls no. If in a relationship and the girl fucks up and does something you don't like, you tell her, you tell her you're gonna leave. You don't tell her you're gonna leave. You just freaking, you just freaking leave, right? You, you show, you, 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 you show. You, you teach her a lesson that you can leave. Some girls, they're playing with you, right? They play in a relationship, they, they, they see how far they can go, they push you, push you, push you, and you're still not leaving, and then they're like, okay, this guy's a total beta male, now I'm gonna leave, and then you're fucked, right? Or if a girl is not acting right when you text with it, you just leave her red. You just go to the next girl. This ability is gonna raise the respect that girls have for you, and it's gonna raise their attraction even more. Countless times, if a girl does something stupid on a text, right? I just ignore it, right? And the best thing is if the girl knows that she does something stupid, right? It gets a little bit tricky if the girl isn't sure what she exactly did, right? It just goes, you should still ghost, but if the girl knows for sure what she did was dumb, right? And you just ghost her, she, best believe she's gonna correct that behavior because she wants your attention back. Very simple. She wants your attention back. Your ability to remove your attention and leave is of utmost importance. I've done a video of this. 
if you want to learn how to punish bad female behavior by removing their attention, right, and gaining respect, make sure to watch this video. I have examples of what exactly you can do to basically just stop females from behaving badly.